From the Cube Studios in Palo Alto and Boston, connecting with thought leaders all around the world, this is a Cube Conversation. Welcome to the Cube's coverage of Pager Duty Summit. I'm your host from the Cube, Natalie Ehrlich. Now we're joined by Sean Scott, the Chief Product Officer of PagerDuty. Thank you very much for joining the program. Glad to be here. Thank you for having me. Terrific. Well, you've been with PagerDuty for about six months. How's it going? It's going great. So I joined PagerDuty because I saw the entire world was shifting to digital first. And PagerDuty is key infrastructure for many of the world's largest companies. In fact, over 60% of the Fortune 100 are customers. And more importantly, I see a much broader future our platform will play in digital operations for these companies going forward. I'm excited to be part of that. Terrific, well, you have really robust experience over 20 years in the Valley leading product, marketing and engineering teams. What prompted the move? I mean, you explained a bit, but just really curious uh, why you made that. Sure, so yeah, I had a long career at Amazon where I was responsible for much of the shopping experience. I ran the homepage, product page, checkout a lot of the underlying tools and tech that supports that worldwide across all devices. And then more recently, I built and launched the Scout Autonomous Delivery Robot uh, from the ground up. So, but after 15 years and uh, I was starting to look for a change and I started talking to Jen, our CEO, and the more we talked, the more excited I became about the platform and what it can be going forward for our customers. You know, the fact that we are already integrated with so many customers around the world and playing such a critical role as part of their infrastructure and yet I think we're just getting started and we can help out companies in so many more uh, use cases across our organizations and really eliminate a lot of time uh, and waste from their processes. Well, this is your first uh, PagerDuty Summit. Would love it if you could share uh, perhaps some insight what you're planning to announce this week. Yeah, sure. So uh, we have a few things that we're announcing. One is uh, we announced last year uh, probably the biggest news last September was our acquisition of Rundeck. And so as part of that, we're announcing our first integration of PagerDuty and Rundeck in the form of Runbook Action. So this is a, you can think of it as kind of quick, kind of micro automations or short automations to give responders uh, much more insights into what's actually happening uh, with an incident. So maybe it's a running a mem command or a, a script on a server uh, we can actually run that directly from the PagerDuty interface. So you don't have to SSH into a box, for example, which is all just takes time and, and effort. And so when you're trying to remediate an issue of uh, maybe a site being down or a service being down, it all happens right there. And even your frontline responders can now do those remediations as well or those automation actions uh, to again, before they need to escalate to the next tier uh, or bring in other devs to help troubleshoot. So that's pretty exciting. We're also announcing ServiceCraft which is a new way to model your services and to show your services and really understand your dependency graph. So if you think about one of the biggest challenges often when you're trying to remediate the issue is understanding, is it me or is it one of my dependent services? And so now we actually have new visualizations to really show the responders exactly what's happening. And you can quickly see, is it you or is it maybe some dependency? Maybe multiple teams are having the same issue that uh, because one of the core services that everybody leverages is down and you can quickly see that. Uh, so that's pretty exciting as well. Uh, we have change correlation and incident outliers. So change correlation, you know, most incidents occur because of changes that were made by us people. Uh, and so being able to spotlight things like, here's a change that was recently made, or uh, here's a change based on our machine learning algorithms that we detected that could be a culprit here. Uh, so providing much richer insights to again, reduce that mean time to resolution. So this whole team, our event intelligence team, that's their whole purpose in life is really just to reduce that mean time to resolution for our customers. Imagine waking up you know, tomorrow and your mean time to resolution just magically goes down because of our software updates. And that's how that team uh, focuses on. And then the last one is uh, in this group is incident outliers, uh, which is all about uh, telling you if an incident, is this rare or is this a frequent incident? And just giving you a little more insights into what you're seeing, which will again, help the responders. We have some other announcements coming up, but I'll save that for Summit. Terrific, well, um, you know, I'd love it if you could share some insight on the competitive landscape and how uh, PagerDuty is, uh, how you see its product effort offering different from the others. Sure, so uh, we go head to head with a lot of uh, competitors and we uh, we have the, uh, the, you know, being in the fortune position, 
that we do have a few competitors coming after us and some big names uh, as well. But you know, when we go head to head with these uh, companies, we generally win. And we see uh, we're constantly getting put in bake-offs with these other competitors. We had one customer I was talking to a few weeks back and uh, they paired us against the incumbent. And out of the box, we saw 50% improvement in mean time to acknowledge. So this is how quickly we can pull in the responder. And then in addition, I thought was more interesting as we saw a 50% improvement in the mean time to resolution over the incumbent. Uh, and so while we do have uh, competitors coming at us, uh, I'm really happy with the way our product performs and our customers are too. So after these bake-offs, it's usually pretty mm -hmm. clear uh, who's staying and who's going. Yeah, so um, when you were helping develop this program this week, what were some of the key areas that you really wanted to highlight? Yeah, so one of the big areas is uh, is really talking about our vision and what is our go forward plan? Because I think while we're really known for incident response, I think you know some of the exciting things you'll hear about uh, at Summit are kind of where we're going in terms of uh, four, four pillars to our vision. One is flexibility, uh, flexible workflows and enabling flexibility. So if you think about all the things that our product is doing beyond DevOps, so for example, um, you know, we had a customer telling us about, uh, they had put PagerDuty in front of everything they're doing. So their whole building is IP, IP enabled. And so they had a contractor drill through a water main and it was instantly able to shut off the water. So they, you know, within 30 seconds, they had PagerDuty had notified the right responders of building maintenance. And within a minute and a half, the water was shut off. And they made the comment that PagerDuty just paid for its health with this one incident. Uh, we see IoT device management. We see uh, even organ transplant delivery using our product. And so we would continue to fuel that uh, with our flexibility. Second pillar is connect yeah. everyone. Uh, we see that uh, we have a lot of people connected, but we just launched fairly recently a customer service offering. So now we can get customer service, not only informed what's going on, uh, but also connecting to the dev teams and the engineering teams and the service owners to really give them more insights into the blast radius and what they may be seeing. Uh, the next one is connect everything. So we have over 550 out of the box integrations. And so it makes it seamless to connect to apps like Datadog, but then also we work where our customers work. So we can actually do work in Slack or MS Teams and take action right in those tools. And the last one is automate away the toil. So we want to automate what can be automated. And this goes back to the run deck acquisition that I mentioned and uh, getting that more deeply integrated with the stack and with processes across an organization. And we're seeing that when our customers really take advantage of that platform, they can really automate away the toil and automate a lot of redundant work and work that is just busy work that keeps uh, people from doing their day job, so to speak. Yeah, well, obviously we had a really unusual last year with the pandemic. How do you think that it changed uh, business for you? Did it um, inspire you to, to move in a new direction? What do you see next in, in the near future? Yeah, for sure. So I saw that, I mean, it's part of the reason why I came to PagerDuty because I saw the transformation industries were making to digital first, right? And so there was a, you know, a lot of teams, a lot of companies struggled, but then a lot of companies also flourished. You take, you know, companies like uh, Instacart and DoorDash and Zoom, you know, had a terrific year. And so, you know, PagerDuty, even with the pandemic and companies that were struggling, we still grew pretty rapidly last year. And that's, I think it's pretty exciting and really speaks to that migration uh, to digital where digital is now becoming, you know, table stakes and just part of what you have to do as a business, as opposed to it used to be a goal that, oh, we need to do more on our digital platform. And now it's like, you have to, you know, focus on your digital platform if you want to simply stay relevant today. And so I think that's, you know, really important for PageDuty because that's where we really help companies thrive. Sean, that's really interesting. To close out this interview, do you have any last thoughts? No, I think that covers it. I think we're you know, really excited to grow with our customers and uh, we're seeing great traction in the market and uh, look forward to a bright future and our platform really uh, helping customers solve new problems that they might have not even considered us for yet. Terrific, well, thank you very much for your insights, Sean Scott, the Chief Product Officer of PagerDuty. And that wraps up our coverage uh, today for the PagerDuty Summit. I'm your host, Natalie Ehrlich for theCUBE. Thank you for watching.